Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us two of the newer Tag Heuer Aqua Racer 300 meter models. I uh, reviewed the, the model on the rubber strap before they were, I guess, officially uh, launched uh, via Tag Heuer. And so additional information on these now we'll go over in this video, but I got both of these on the stainless steel bracelet in stock. That rubber one uh, has sold. And so let's get the dimensions out of the way again first on these. Measuring diagonally across the case, roughly from the 10 to the 40 or the 2 to the 8, 42.3 millimeter case. They're listed as 42 millimeters, which is a millimeter smaller than the outgoing 43 millimeter model. Um, but I measured 42.3 diagonally across. I measured 41.3, again, straight across the ceramic bezel. So the, uh, I should say the bezel insert. So the outside there from 3 to 9. I measured at 41.3 and then the crystal i measured at 31.4 on both of these so about 31 and a half millimeters on that sapphire crystal 12.1 millimeters thick 47.5 lug tip to lug tip that's a true lug uh lug to lug measurement as we have uh, very nice articulating uh bracelets here from the lugs 21 millimeter lug width tapers to 18 here at the last link and then back out to 20 at the deployant dual push button clasp we do have on the fly micro adjustability with the dual push button here below the release of the clasp these buttons here will allow you to move that bracelet so you have on the fly it's not necessarily hidden under the clasp like a lot of other manufacturers do however the functionality is the same so as long as you don't mind it kind of on the outside of your clasp there um, certainly no uh, no reason not to enjoy that on the fly micro adjustability we have a solid stainless steel case back again we have a signed screw down crown 300 meters of water resistance and underneath that case back is the new tag hoyer 31 movement dash zero zero so it's the th 31 dash zero zero and that is a solita movement that was developed by uh, kind of an arm of Solita called AMT. And so what you have here is a, on the dial, you can see officially certified chronometer. This is a COSC certified movement. Uh, so you're gonna get uh, better reliability than you would on the outgoing as well, on the outgoing model, as well as uh, much larger power reserve uh, over double. I believe the outgoing model was 38 hours of power reserve. These new ones are gonna have 80 hours of power reserve and really bring these Tag Heuer Aqua Racer models up to par with many of the other divers they're competing with uh, from other manufacturers. Retail price on these, $3,800. And I weighed them on the full stainless steel bracelets, 167.8 grams, so just under 180 grams. I gotta tell you, the links themselves feel pretty thin, um, and I feel like they, they articulate well. Actually, just trying these on, I think they felt good on wrist. Um, so that's something you, you can't always you know just get out of a video. I thought they, they wore um pretty ergonomically friendly on my six and three quarter inch wrist so let's throw these guys on again here i have the blue dial with the orange seconds hand uh, i guess before i throw them on too let's just take a listen to the bezel action i will say the bezel noise or the audible is not as loud as some other divers i will do some comparison videos with these and post those in the future um it's a little it's just not as mechanical feeling as some others again it's not a a good or a bad thing it's just trying to give you uh the feel um i don't feel like i feel like they're a little bit softer i guess uh is the word i'm looking for compared to the outgoing model as well i felt like the the outgoing model was a little bit more shall i say clicky um going through uh rotating your bezel so there is the blue dial i have not seen the new gmt models yet as soon as we have those in stock i will certainly review those i also have not seen the green dial so as we continue to get these i will certainly review all the colorways these are the two that we have right now uh, admittedly i'm a fan of this black one i love that blue whether you want to call it a tiffany blue or cyan blue uh, i do like the colorway on it and again i do think these wear fairly well um, for a, a guy myself who prefers smaller watches uh, I absolutely think I could pull one of these off and wear it uh, if one of these uh, happens to be up your alley. So, again, thanks for viewing. I'll show you a quick loom shot of both of these here. And uh, I promise I will get some comparison videos of these up in the future, uh, comparing them to some Omega, maybe some Tudor and Breitling Divers. So let me hit the lights for you quick. A 
And here is the loom. Looks good on both of them. You can see your minute hand in blue while your hour and your indices are in green. So thanks for viewing. Contact information can be found in the description of this video. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.